if we attack together, we can take back our home, or we die trying. If you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. My Cora, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense system. Every sense to be on the wall has gone dark. Battle station! Everyone with me, now! in our home. And now, they threaten our very existence. But if we attack together, we can take back our home, or we die trying. Well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do uh, all day. Hey, I cool. What's happening to what have you floor? got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense system. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark.
they threaten our very existence. But if we attack together, we can take back our home, or we die trying. Impressing UK is the easiest thing I'll do all day. My core. What have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense system. Better sense to be on the wall to start dark. Welcome to an extra special episode of Fireteam Chat. Joining me today is Fran Mirabella. Hey, Guardians. CJ Gibson. What's up? And we all play Destiny. We played it on PS4. We it's played it too. on PC. And we're going <laughs> to talk about too. our impressions right now. A little bit later, though, we're going to have some bungee interviews. we got some hard-hitting stuff. We have some community pieces and more. Hi, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> it has been a long day, <laughs> oh, yeah. but we're having a good time. Wow. We're doing it live. What time That's did it. we get up at? It was like we've been up since seven. I could not sleep last night. Oh, I was crazy. so excited. We've yeah. seen it. How about that presentation? So good. Yeah, I don't know where to start, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I can start go with for campaign. hours. We'll start yeah. with the campaign. They're really focusing on story. I am incredibly happy with the, where they're going. I hope they can keep that pace throughout yeah. the storyline. Yes. I'm gonna say. 
that you heard me talking about it on the show, I think. Remember the, mm -hmm. the over the shoulder and you yeah. slam, you go down on the ground and like, yes. I'm getting that out of the campaign. So like when I saw that they're delivering on that high impact, high action, and like just like when Zavala like drops in like around me, like yeah. he jumps yeah. in the middle of gameplay, like that was yes. in the cutscene, and then it's like all of a sudden it's in gameplay. Yeah, and yeah. It, they, if you're in the right spot, anyway, it's really amazing. Yeah, it's really um, good. If they can keep that up for, I'm trying to figure out like where I feel good it's long enough, but let's say like six, seven hours, maybe that's too long. I don't know, <laughs> but it'll be amazing. I'm and, super excited. And did they confirm that that was the official starting of the game? It's not, not quite. Okay. We're going to have a full interview later on YouTube.com slash FireteamChat, IGN, Beautiful. IGN's YouTube. They do actually talk about that a little bit, so nice. you guys will have to yeah. stay the tuned for that. Nice. Yeah. However, CJ, you got to play the campaign on yes. a PlayStation 4 Pro. Yes. I am sorry you had to play as a Warlock. I know oh, you're a Hunter it. man. <laughs> you know, but you're the, a Hunter man. The Warlock Super yeah. is awesome, though. It's the one sword? Of those, the sword, sword yeah. from the sky. Like, So I was wondering, when we first saw the trailer, and you're, there's a a lot going through your brain. You at first, I'm like, I can fly. Like there's that moment where you're like, yes. And as you do it, and the you dawn blade, yeah, and you're Whoosh. controlling it in the sky. So there's this nice balance of feeling like you can fly. Like, like as a, a quiver, as a hunter, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> as a hunter, you get that extra little bit of levitation when you're yeah. about to do your quiver, and you it, it just kind of suspends your jump a little extra longer. And the warlock Friend, does do kind of feel like brain? that. One more time. No, that's a quiver. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how it sounds. No, but and so yeah, just looking at the effects of the game. And that was the thing that struck me right off the bat. It's beautiful. Like it's the environment and seeing the tower destroyed there. It was like it. It actually choked me up. Like we saw that in the beginning, mm -hmm. and when that happened, I was like, "Oh man, there's there's my vault. It's all gone. <laughs> yeah, it's really it's gone. real. It's yeah, it's now. legit. I mean." So. What did you think, Destin? Yeah, all right. So like, have to ask. Like, like yeah. in the campaign, seeing the tower under siege and Unreal. actually caring about the people who are like, it looks like people are dying. Yeah, yeah. basically. Dude, like, they, yeah, you go back to that tower, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you go back to the tower. It's totally under siege. Everything's being blown up. We all got really excited when we actually saw we went through that door. Yes, I know. Like later, over by the speaker, so cool. They bust through the door and they're ready to go. Yeah, and uh, there's more cabal coming yeah. in, and you're trying to. Protect, they're trying to evacuate people basically, yes. and they're like, go. Yeah. And we don't know where the speaker is, for example. It seems like he might have died. Yeah. We don't and, know and what Ikora, happened. And yeah, Ikora, Ikora, tosses, Ikora's yeah. like, and she tosses He's a Nova here. bomb yeah. against the ship there yeah. as it takes off. There are so, so many really clutch moments. Let's they, talk about that. So those supers. clutch moments, yes. you're not standing there while they do something. No, they're no. not just sending you up and being like, well, that seemed like a rough run when yeah. you nuke everybody. <laughs> they're there in the action with you, something you have asked for in the gameplay forever. Yeah, literally. Like, so that's what happens, right? You, you're. For, I just want to stress, though, like when you go in the tower in Destiny Two, it is surreal. Yes. Because it's like it's rainy. It's like busted yeah. up. The shimmering light it's, effects. It just looks different, obviously, because the engine's different now. They talked about that a little bit in our interview. There's a lot more object rendering and like how stuff reflects. And anyway, going past that, so you wrap around down towards you know New Monarchy and the speaker. Yeah. The doors open. Takes a second, and then yeah, like all, like a core is there. She comes in with that. The Nova yeah. bomb, and then yeah. right. That's when she's talking about the speaker being gone. She jumps on the ship. Yeah, yeah. I know she's you mad. guys probably all saw this, but so like, good. it's so cool. And that was the first moment with Ikora. I don't know if it's Ikora or Ikora, yeah. but <laughs> that's what they say, Ikora in the game. Um, that was the first moment I saw her just be really like commanding, like a yeah. vanguard, like yeah. you want. We've heard so cool to see. We've heard in the lore how badass these characters are, yeah. and we get to see it for the first time. We yes. see Zavala protecting everybody. Yeah. We see Ikora doing her thing. We see Cade kill some people, but also get trapped in the by the Vex. <laughs> yes. right? yeah. 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 Cade's great. Yeah. Cade's an awesome. We didn't character. see a ton of Cade though. I thought mm -hmm. in the trailers. You see plenty of them, but I thought yeah. you would see a lot. But you that's don't. really smart, though, because I think they know that Cade in doses is nice comic relief when required. And this moment, like at the beginning or wherever this is in the game, is super emotional. Like those cutscenes, actually, where Zavala is like shielding them off. Like you're always as a Titan bubble, like, whoa, this is easy, no problem. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk out of this. Like he literally looks like he's protecting like the whole city there, or as many people can fit into his, you know, the bubble shield. And it's crazy those moments when you actually. see them all in that cutscene activate their supers that like everybody went wild it's cool that was so neat to see that stuff all of the community stuff that they talked about they basically solved the matchmaking their way guess what we are getting the matchmaking that we've been asking yeah. for we're mm -hmm. getting it in a unique bungee style way where they care about community they care about how they're presenting that to their audience yeah and the way they're going to do it 
is through clans. You're going to be able to yes. play solo if you want to and queue up as that empty slot for clans if you want to, and you can play with them. And that is just awesome. Uh, we got Luke yeah. and Mark to talk about it. That'll be at the end of this segment. Yeah. And I'm really, really happy they found a solution that works to retain the, the care that they want the community to have for each other mm -hmm. and the... the like, we've made a lot of friends online. We got Michael yeah, Lovery, sure. we got, you know, <laughs> Champ, we got my raid team, Goji, Steph, and everybody. Was there Steph today. was there with us yep. today. Uh, Pat, every, everybody we play with. Who I can, I can name I'm everybody. Know, I know. Ever. Yeah, I just don't want to make anybody mad. <laughs> but yeah, so like, we've developed those relationships. There's mm -hmm. Guardian Con coming down the road, mm -hmm. and like, tons of friendships have been made from this game. And they're going to retain that with these new right. players that are going to be coming in. But let's yeah. talk about that, though, right? unless it's down the road. You tell me in the run of show. But uh, what do you think of the system? Like, instead of it just being, because mm -hmm. think about it. What they're saying is, look, matchmaking, we don't like it. We've told you we don't, you don't like mm -hmm. it. But we get it. 50% of the player base did not engage in raids and stuff. Mm -hmm. Therefore, implying it's a problem. It's a mm -hmm. problem to not have it. People are missing out on this great game activity. But we're not going to do it just wide open. Uh, you have to take a few of these steps to get in. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, I think that. I think it's a smart solution. I do too. I think you're going to, you know, we have the LFG sites right now. You just hop into a random crew. Yeah. And sometimes it's all randos and one, one leader, like one person carrying the, the team. And it's going to be nice to kind of hop into a mostly solidified team. Yes. yes. Ideally, if it works well. Because that's the piece of the puzzle that they, you think about you're always missing one or two people. You're never just jumping in, hey, let me see if I can like LFG a brand new six player raid. Yeah. Ever. Like, I can't remember the last time I've done that. Yeah. Un unless people do it every day still. Well, I know, but unless yeah. you're the solo person mm -hmm. or you're one or two trying to join. So it does make sense. And I mean, I think I was doing a couple of uh, community interviews there, and I think Say No to Rage was talking about how yeah. he actually really oh, yeah. enjoys you know, bringing people through a raid the first time. And those kind of things, I think, the community's already really good at that. It is, so, yeah. so I think that this thing is just, it solidifies that even more. It might not be exactly the matchmaking we were thinking of, but yeah. once we see it flushed out, I think it'll be good. I think for new players, it's really smart. I think, yeah, like I'm very happy with it. I think it's interesting. They also gotta test it. It's funny, yeah. like talking to Luke a little bit, he used the word, the psychological kind of setup, right? And I think it is that. It's like, yeah. are you casual this? Are you, you know, do you want to just help? And I think that's really smart to put a few filters on. Yep. But there's still barriers. You know, I'd put that out there. And so in other words, are we going to bring that 50% up as much as we could have? Are you still going to be able to easily find clans to get into? I mean, that's my yeah. big question. Mm -hmm. Is it it's super accessible, yeah. but I will say, will yeah. Will it be like I, reject, reject, okay, buffering other clans that maybe are online? Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's definitely relative probably to the amount of criteria you're searching for. I mean, I even think I heard him talking about specific languages at one point and then maybe filtering like that. So uh, obviously when those kind of things you know come along, the community's very big, it's great if it dwindles, and I think that's where, yeah, it's remained to seen, you know, be seen how it can actually be implemented, but uh, it, it's a great start. Guys, we are going to be taking your social questions. You can tweet at IGN or at Destin Laguerre. Get those followers if you know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, yeah, tweet at those accounts and uh, we'll answer your questions live on the air. I got my phone here. Brian's going to feed them to me from social. So taking calls, his number is Yeah, uh, so if you want to call me, just call me up. I'll take it live on the air. Yeah, so uh, tweet any questions you might have and we will address them live on the air. So we talked about the matchmaking system and how they've addressed it. And one point I want to say, say about... Uh, what you're saying is this is pretty standard stuff that yeah. they needed to have in the sequel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad. Like being yeah. able to pick like Mike or no Mike, it's like good. You finally got what mm -hmm. was needed. But I really liked how they addressed that community aspect. Yeah, I think before. it's really interesting and smart. I'm curious to see if it influences other games. You know, um, Destiny's been able to do that. As call it stubborn as they've been with some of their mm -hmm. choices. <laughs> They've made some of the right moves too. The community is uh, very strong, and like, yeah, the idea of these Sherpas and all has been great. Yeah. We have, no, go ahead. So we do have our first community question: Is it really 30 FPS on console? Oh, Everybody's talking about Master J. About PC yep. 30. 30 FPS on Across console. The board. 4K 30 locked. Yes. yes. So you can't like go up to 60 or anything. But yeah, yeah that's yeah. 30 on console. So that's on PS4 Pro, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, technically, they dodged the Scorpio answer. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, I would say it's a possibility, by the way. No, they, they confirm consoles are 30. They said we're not talking about Scorpio, though. <laughs> Just to be fair, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. They said right. that in our interview, yes. too, but they didn't. They, they dodged Scorpio. 
So I don't, I don't want to get people's hopes up, but yeah. I yeah. have about an hour and a half for the interview footage. I'm pretty sure I can get that quote out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I, people, I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm, so again, I'm going to get blamed called for this. It. Yes, I did. 30p on console. I, like, there was, to me, there was not going to be enough power to render that game out the way that they in, wanted to do it. And, and I mean, they said that. When you see the game again, it re like, that's the thing. I did expect a bigger engine change. Mm -hmm. But I will say, like, it, seeing it up close in the campaign, there's a lot of very pretty oh, particles yeah. and, and just, like, it looks great. It the already engine, looks great. The engine yeah. looks fantastic. It does. Like, but they we couldn't all, do it at 60. When we saw it, we were like, what? Yeah. What is going on? So I actually leaned over to both of you during the... the we were freaking the, out the a little bit. Yeah, we were freaking out, <laughs> but it was like, I said to you, did you notice it's 30? Yeah. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys did or not, because those moments happen so quickly. Oh, I and, yeah, I know, but <laughs> my yeah, point I is, the game is just... <laughs> what I'm saying is, the game is just so engaging on no. its own that Do I? like even from a console standpoint like I think it's kind of nice like I actually kind of enjoy the cinematic feel no, yeah. of I what can't that is watch right? those like motion flow 60 frame you know when they take yeah. your movie at home on your TV and like convert it to 60 it looks terrible yeah but that's PVE so I yes. you know, PVP obviously I think a ton of people want 60 yes but by the way we saw PC and we did we're gonna talk about mm. the PC versus right. PS4 <laughs> we'll a talk little about bit that. later in a segment hang on let's yeah. go back to the the campaign stuff we yeah. saw so the patrol areas the new planets we got IO we got Titan we yeah. got Nessia Nessus? and I Earth Nessus <laughs> Nessus and Earth yeah and they all look pretty unique it's nice to see the they decks do. coming back and so I see the lush sort of planets that they've, they've built here. And uh, when we played the strike, it was pretty cool. It was yeah. pretty cool. It didn't seem like, I didn't see too much off the beaten path exploration, yeah. a little no. bit here or there, but it's very yeah. like, you're descending constantly in that Yeah, world. it was yeah. a big descent. A lot of, yeah, there was a lot of like platformy up and down. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it was fun, but I will say it felt, that's felt uh, expected to me. Now I, I it really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It had Protheon mm -hmm. was the boss. I thought that was interesting. <laughs> had a little bit of a mini Atheon mm -hmm. uh, kind of thing going on. But uh, but yeah, when I played the strike, that it brings up that question, you know, where like there's a big big difference in the action between that and a campaign. So yes, you know, like, strikes felt very similar. I wasn't seeing these like. You know what I mean? These big action moments and, and mm -hmm. uh, big boss moments and staged pieces. Not that they didn't have some of that. I just mean like there's a very big difference in what we played in the, oh, yeah. the homecoming piece yeah. of the story mm -hmm. versus a strike. A strike felt like a, a strike to me. Yeah. It felt I, very large. The worlds felt very massive in the strike. Like, I don't know. It was big. It was wide. Yeah, it, felt it does. But you couldn't go anywhere. No, really. but just, just the field of view. There's something that's just a little bit different, and everybody was saying it. it's like, what does it feel like? What does it look like? And there's just like this... It feels a little, not sl slower is not the right word, but like even like the, the shooting mechanics and the shade stepping, there's just a little bit more precision in it in, in a way. In they changed the feel, like, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I don't know if we're planning yeah. on talking about Let's that. Let's talk about that. jumping. Yeah. It yeah. felt weird to me. It, it did. did not feel the same Tripped way. Tripped me out at a It was a little weird at first. You're like, all right, you yeah. got adjusted. The sound effects changed. Yeah, the yeah. sound effects changed. The, it's it just, so weird. It flows nice. Yep. Yeah. But the jumping was different. Oh yeah. yeah, that was immediate. I was like, tried to like do the boosted warlock yeah. jump, yeah. and I was like, I just didn't know what I was doing at first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually died. botched a jump. Yeah, yeah. you. Um, we'll make sure yeah. to see that more later. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a there's a much floatier aspect um, on the build out of the the warlock. Angel of Light was built in. Mm -hmm. They have this whole new subclass system now, so it was really interesting to have like. You just had Angel of Light plus um, a couple of the other, you know, mm -hmm. new things that they have. But, yeah. like, I could always float up in the air. Like, we had platforms dropping out from under us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, like, Angel of Light existed in the last one. But it was just interesting to have it kind of built in as a standard. Mm -hmm. um, because we couldn't switch that up at the moment. Yeah. But, yeah, like, what did you think of, um, you know, that whole setup? Let's talk about Shade Step as the Golden Gun Hunter. Whoa! Yeah, that blew oh, you my have mind. shade step yes. as golden. I, well, like so, I didn't like it. Basically, it's a cooldown thing. So rather than being able to spam it every couple seconds, you actually have so it's three blocks of meters, yeah, it's your third. and it's your third, yeah, tied into it. So, you know, things like that. Um, you know, the sound effects, the way it feels, just the merging of those kind of things from one class to another. And who knows, right? We don't know. This is just the initial class. You know, for under there could be yeah. more DLC later on that. Brings new classes into that, um, but yeah, that was that was really odd because your brain associates Shade Step with that void oh, class. Totally. So those couple, you know, things like that are going to get very. You're going to get the games confused a little bit, I think, if you you know, if you're like me, who plans to potentially go back and forth between the two of them maybe for a little bit, because you know, soft spot still for Destiny One, but loved everything so far that we've that yeah. we've played for Destiny Two. Definitely. What about you? 
Uh, so I definitely like the experience. I thought it was really interesting how they changed up the inventory. So like now you have kinetic damage yes. weapons on top. You have elemental, which are the same as your kinetic actually. So you yep. can have a pistol that's kinetic and a pi pistol that's elemental. Yes. And you can energy. Yeah. Yeah, you the can energy have energy, weapons. energy base. And then yeah. uh, snipers went into the heavy slot. So did fusion. Sniper, so did rocket shotguns, launchers shotguns, and grenade shotguns. launchers. Yeah. Shotguns so we got too. to see. Yeah, and shotguns. You're yep. right. So we have all these new weapons that we're utilizing in a new slot. And I think it is a smart way to deal with people who are only using snipers with, like, yeah. I, everybody's using Icebreaker in Destiny 1 right now in Crucible. Yeah. So it's going to be a really smart way to handle that situation. Yeah. Get yeah. people closer. It just occurred to me, though, like, going back to the raids especially, how much you rely on a sniper. Oh, I mean, yeah. Normally it's like a black spindle or And a shotgun, too. Where you get ammo refill, and yeah. so you probably get that again. But, like, think of... Just think of trying to manage that now with heavy power, power ammo, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think it's, yes, we didn't have to encounter that really. Like, I didn't need to like pop someone in the head like 12 times, you know, over and over again with each phase. But like, think about it, you'll run out of that right away yeah. with snipers and that. Well, they'll, they'll have heavy ammo drops. We don't know if heavy ammo synth is going to be in the game or, or not. Or what's the cooldown and how that works. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was thinking about just, yeah, how is that implemented when. Uh, yeah, you want to pick it up. It sounds like, and I, I don't quote me on this. Somebody said that in certain modes, especially the one we played, if you pick the ammo up, it doesn't share it anymore if it's heavy. And I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not, but uh, there's changes to it, I think, that are going to be pretty dramatic that are going to affect it. Like when you die with the heavy in PvP, do you lose it? And then all of a sudden we're in the same yeah. boat. Like, yeah, you do. No, yeah, exactly. like no heavy, no, no shotgun, no sniper ammo. So it's... Depending on how they implement those things into PvP, yeah, it's pretty dramatic. And even just thinking, looking around for green, like my brain associates green oh, yeah. with shotgun ammo or sniper ammo or, you know, like purple's always heavy. Oh, yeah. You know, so trying to think, oh, yeah, now I have to pay attention because this is actually, I have to have this weapon open for it. Yeah. It's going to be... You just got to adjust yeah, to it, Yeah, there's going to be mean, a bit of an adjustment. Yeah. I, I like it, though, so far. It didn't really bother me, and I liked having, like, a scout and a hand cannon. Yes. And just f switching between the two. Like, when you think of that trade-off, it's something I'd wanted in the first place, right? I always yeah. was, like, loadouts, like hockey loadouts on the D-pad or a rolling wheel to switch. Like, now you have a little closer to that, you know? Yeah. Um, it's still the same weapon-changing system where you go into the, we you know, weapon menu and then change it. But, again, just think of equipping, like, Scout and hand cannon, in particular, or pulse and hand cannon. It's something yeah. we've never been able to do before, and it feels good. Pulse fire is amazing, by the way. Yeah. The sound oh, yeah. Pulse and the, feels really good. It, the, way it, the way it feels. Uh, and I noticed, too, is this new? I'm pretty sure it is. There's like a hit registration marker that shows up. It's I a, didn't notice That's that. a little red like X yeah, that there's comes a cross. up. Because that's a, right. like a damage indicator. No, that's indicator. there. Because like, if I throw my grenade as a trip mine, and then I walk away, you see pop. It'll it, pop up on yeah, your screen. But yeah, but it just looks Something's a little different bit different. It. Yeah. Oh, it's tweaked. Yeah, it's the tweaked HUD is a all bit. tweaked a yeah, little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. but, but familiar enough where you don't feel lost, which I think was important for them to do. I was actually really surprised when we first walked in. We're like, wow, the, the options menu, like, there's my yeah. guardian in the center. Like, everything is it. kind of on the left, that's, you know, weapon, and everything that's on the right, mm -hmm. that's armor. And uh, yeah, so that part is good. And I think that was important that they left that, you know, yeah. as is. We, so. We have a few more things we're going to hit on, but we are going to throw it to the community. You've heard enough from us. Let's hear from a few community members really quick. We talked to them while they were at the venue, and we are going to cut to their reactions to the Destiny 2 gameplay reveal in just a moment here, whenever I get the thumbs up from our producer. <laughs> we're <Now>. doing it live. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Trailer is incredible. I'm... <laughs> trailer is incredible. I'm I'm literally like lost for words right now. When the video first started for Destiny 2, I got goosebumps. I was so excited and overwhelmed. Everything looked absolutely incredible. I couldn't believe how beautiful the scenery was. One of the biggest things that stands out for me is definitely the open world. I've always felt like Destiny kind of lacked the the kind of true desire to explore the like, explore the planets, and now they kind of they've doubled up on a you know the environments are bigger. There's more stuff to actually find. There's you know there's hidden treasures and stuff like PVP. A little bit too early to say. Feels interesting, though. Much longer time to kills. You're not just randomly dying from something, you know, punching someone. It takes like three punches instead of one now. I mean, aside from just being incredibly excited, uh, I'm really looking forward to the way that they've slowed down the pace in PvP, I think, most prominently, um, and also giving you the ability to be, like, really tactical um, with the way that you approach situations in PvE. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I really like the fact that you can heal 
that's awesome. You yeah. can be tactical, put up a shield. You can have Shade Step as a gunslinger. I don't know, I'm excited. Yeah. And PC, the senpais have noticed it. <laughs> it's awesome. The Blizzard amazing. thing was crazy. The Blizzard I, that thing was a total shock. Yeah, that came out of nowhere. But I'm soaked about that. My tag is Captain Mav Sparrow. Rip. Captain Cupholder on Sparrows. Ca yeah, basically. <laughs> I already know, but starting out with PS4. PC and PS4 on the side. So first impression is you take a look at the city getting destroyed and new supers being used and all of these crazy things going on with new kind of cabal enemies. It's hard to come up with words of shock, but it's definitely something where you can sit down and say, this is the biggest stride forward Destiny has ever made. The campaign initially, I thought they really ramped up the environmental changes, the weather, the sounds. It, it was very immersive. One of my commitments is taking people through raids and the end game content, teaching them because as they even said during their presentation, that's some of the best content in the game. And I like their commitment to streamlining more of the community getting to play that stuff because it is, I believe, the best sort of experience you get in Destiny as, as a full fire team. So that's, that's one of the things I'm committed to. Uh, just excited. Just really happy. Yeah. Excited. Uh, we've been with the game for so Cup long. Holders, please. Couple holders. Anyone from Bungie watches this? A koozie. Um, Jacuzzi. No, we've been we've been with the game for so long, and it's so nice to like grow with it and meet mm -hmm. new people and embrace all these new fans to just enjoy the community because we're awesome and it's amazing and <laughs> we're, huge. We're awesome. We are. We're awesome. <laughs> the Destiny okay. community. You're awesome. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Matt. But yeah, the Destiny That's community it. is pretty yeah. awesome. The one thing I don't know about yet, and that I'm still trying to sort of find out, I'm hoping, hoping for beards. Like, come on. There you go. You know, one... So that's what a few community members had to say about Destiny 2 and their impressions. We have more on the way. We're going to talk about a ton on the show today. We're going to talk about PS4 versus PC. We're going to talk about 30 versus 60. And we have two interviews with Bungie that we're going to roll a little bit later with some really exclusive in info that you're going to want to stick around for. Dedicated servers, are we getting them, yeah. et cetera. Um, CJ, you actually shot the community piece earlier today. Now this yeah. is just a taste of what we're gonna put up. Yeah, we talked to so many people and the issue when you're at one of these events is especially when you're trying to engage and play the game and figure all these, you know, all the info out. There's so many people. We got a chance to kind of just like say hi and bye in passing. So if we did get a chance to say hello to you, I really appreciate it. And for all the people that we didn't, uh, we apologize, but we're gonna, yeah, have another uh, cut of the video later on on Fireteam Chat in the next couple days, hopefully. So. It's kind of weird at these Destiny things because like you see all the community members and we all kind of know we all know each other because yeah. yeah. we stream and we'd make content we watch each other's content yeah and it's like oh hey wife you know yeah. hey yeah. miss 5000 watts and yep. Yeah. Whoever's around. Yeah. yeah. And the Coltsman. The Holtzman. Holtzman. Yeah. And yeah. and that's the thing, even for me, like I've you know known a lot of these people because some of them submitted stuff for Fireteam Chat one hundred. Yeah. And so it was my first time actually meeting them in person. So that's super cool when you have this kind of community. And and everybody is. They're just really nice. And I think legitimately everybody was super amped for this game. Oh. Like that's the piece of when you when you watch people's reaction, you're like, oh man, like it is cool yeah. to see people well, everybody freaking out like over at, at the event. game. It was so yeah. awesome. They all played over like 500 or yeah. 2,000 hours. So yeah. I'd say they're probably pretty hyped yeah. for a new yeah. version. But it's good. definitely, I mean, it was uh, it was just cool to be around. Yeah, that that energy. But yeah. just to be able to play everything. Go, yeah, go for it. Yeah, that's not normal in the industry to be like, here it is, and go play it all. Yeah. And so, were you surprised? I mean, that's a question that we've always talked about in Fire Team Chat. You know, what's going to be at this event, and how much are we going to be able to do? Like Destin, like. Did you actually expect to be able to play as much as we did? Um, not that much. I didn't think yeah. I was going to get to play PC, for example. And I, they're like, yeah, you know what? We yeah. have a spot for you. Go ahead. I was like, whoa, OK. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I didn't think I was going to see this till like E3 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that was, that was really exciting for me. And I am not good on PC. <laughs> so yeah. I am sorry, James Duggan, that who's going to be carrying me through everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Same. you're going to have to, gonna have to yeah, get used to it. Yeah. Uh, we are taking community questions also. We have a few right now that we're going to get to. You can just leave your comment in Twitch, YouTube, or on Twitter, at IGN, at Destin Legary, and we will pull those in. So the next one we have is from Seraph Dubstep. How do we get our powers back? And that is a good lead-in into the question about the overall narrative. Did they, do you feel like they're going to get it right this time? Now, I brought up in the, in the beginning of the show how I hope that they have steam to continue this line of right. uh, great gameplay, cutscenes, mm -hmm. interactive moments. Uh, yeah, what do you guys I think? I think they've got that, but are you asking about the storyline itself as it's unfolding? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah. But how I, are they gonna keep up that pace? 
The bar is like, what we saw today, the yeah. bar is very high. Yeah. yeah, it is. But I guess that's yeah. my point. That's two different questions for me. The pace is one thing, or like, do we feel like the story as it's unfolding is going to be cool? Yeah. Um, so anyway, on the pace side, same concern. I mean, who's to say? We jumped mm -hmm. in at a super heightened moment that yeah. it, we know is not the very beginning of the game. So it's hard to say. Maybe the beginning is more explosive, but we don't know that yet. Um, and then, you know, in terms of the narrative itself, I, I what I really appreciated was it all made sense. Yeah. yeah. Like I knew there are these three really powerful beings that I mean I know a lot more about them being in the community, but if I'm dumbing it down, right, there's like these three powerful beings. Yeah. You're like with them and helping them as one of the people in the tower mm -hmm. and like this other powerful dude, the speaker left, it leaves a question, again, yeah. like mm -hmm. a mystery. But then you get an idea that the traveler like is this all powerful being that is giving you that light and like anyway it's pretty simple but it like it all makes sense you don't get confused yeah. which in the first destiny a lot of it was like what just like you know Eris like is talking about the sword and the crystal that comes out of it from Oryx and you're yeah. like mm -hmm. what you didn't really know and to answer your question <laughs> Seraph Dubstep about how yeah. do you get your powers back we don't know. So to explain yeah. how these builds work is it's like a vertical slice of the game that we get to experience at these events. We don't know if it's edited. Like we've played these before at preview events, then we get the full version and there's it's a ton different. of different stuff in the yeah. middle. So we have these new powers. It's not really explained why or how we got them. And I think we're gonna find that out more or find that yeah. out closer to September 8th. Yeah, we don't really know if you lose your powers before this moment yeah. or after. I'm pretty sure it's after, yeah, by the way, yeah, because the say. tower's under siege. So but. how do we get these new abilities? Like, has time passed since the last, like, Remember you go play Nazis? that version of the Crucible map and then you get your power from that <laughs> yeah. mission. Sorry, it's a Destiny <laughs> 1 joke if you are following yeah. it. Mm -hmm. No, it's not gonna be that. I think it's, that, I'm excited to see that. Like, oh, getting yeah. the powers, you know, Stormcaller, the third subclasses, et cetera, were really cool in Destiny. Yes. But it was like, you know, it was basic. Yeah, they put you on like a Crucible map and change mm -hmm. the weather and, <laughs> um, yeah. Now, though, to see how they handle getting your power back, like it's gonna feel awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I'm excited. Uh, so here's a question. I don't know if this ties into that a little bit. When you're talking about the intensity of the campaign, do you think strikes will kind of play a piece in that? Where it's like, okay, now that you've done like so much of this campaign, now okay. we're gonna throw you on a couple strikes. So during their presentation, they talked about all the different things that you can do in a patrol area or on a planet. How yeah. there's no more loading screens. They address a lot of the problems with yeah. Destiny One mm -hmm. that no going to orbit, then going there's into no a orbit. thing. Yeah, yeah no orbit. So like you go to this planet, and it just looks like there's a ton of stuff to do. There's public events and everything. Yeah. Um, Actually, sorry for clarification. They, like meaning there are loading screens, and actually we don't know there are, there's but not what, orbit. I'm they just, just said you don't have to. What yeah. they said. Yeah. So good call out, but just want to be careful. That's what they're conveying to us. They're saying that you're going to have this huge area to explore, mm -hmm. and that actually kind of leans into that boy one. How big are the worlds? Well, we can tell you about what we experienced on the strike, but we don't know how big the actual worlds are going to be. Right. Uh, that strike seemed quite large. Oh yeah, yeah. and the environment as you're yeah. going around, like that's what I mean. You're like when you're looking out into yeah, the, the draw distance the draw and, distance and the environment and what was happening in the in the machines that were in there you're like that was Ooh. cool actually that was yeah. really cool i will say that i downplayed that now that i think about it the, yeah you saw it in the trailer the yeah there's grinding. a big drill yeah it's this drill yeah this grinding and I had the edges this man. yeah oh, three God. times on right. the drill as yeah. did i until the <laughs> end when they both died and <laughs> i had to pick them up yeah. so the mission didn't end and i popped protheon and finished the mission <laughs> right, save your right. no. uh that was cool actually because those <laughs> drills are coming at you yeah and yeah. there's no like it's not forgiving no. you gotta like look <laughs> and they're above and below you it was yeah. a really cool mechanic uh, I kind of forgot about that, actually. I would love to see more stuff like that in Strikes. Yeah. Yeah, it was it's, really fun. It's cool to see a world element doing stuff yes. that you have to avoid. Like, any time a game manages to do that, and it's, it's just, like, technologically impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, the Strikes should give us an idea of what we can experience from those open areas, and they look cool. Yeah. There's tons of places to jump to apparently because like I I would have to look around like where am I going next am I going over here no can I jump to that oh I can yeah you know like it was figuring out this new space yeah we did that a few times I remember thinking you know we're looking around and you're not exactly sure where yeah. and you're like oh, can, can we jump yeah that? and I yeah. remember it, this in your gameplay I like jump below and I, yeah and I was like oh and I'm going below down yeah. here yeah. and you're like yeah yeah you but, were getting shot out of those little <laughs> yeah. air cannons and yeah. you guys went over some anyway, I'm like, oh, there's a space underneath, and I yeah. actually was worried I was going to screw up the mission. <laughs> but I was like, I'm going down below, and yeah, it was just there's layers. Yes, there's definitely layers. Yeah, multiple yeah. ways to approach the situation, and that's great as opposed to just like l linear 
What do you think of the boss sponge and fight itself? You know, like I'm not gonna say it was just a boss sponge; it was phased out, but yeah, it felt familiar in that sense, didn't it? It definitely felt. It felt like we were fighting Atheon. Yeah, to be honest, it to me, like, like yeah. it's a big not Vex within the context guy. of the raid. And not how he works. No, 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 no. Yeah, but it's a big Vex guy, yes. and he stomps you. But yep. this one teleports all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, he was he, he was, kept changing his shield as he dropped layers. I think. Yeah, it seemed like you were calling out that he was changing his uh, <coughs> he damage did, I'm type. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I only saw him on arc at the end. But, uh, but it seemed they used the same bag of tricks is what I was getting, and I enjoyed it by the way. Yeah. I just like again that's where. Same bag of trips, but like we weren't very good on ad control, so ads were no. giving us a problem. When he yeah. got to that final phase, well, he I got mean, really tricky. Good, but terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we're you gonna check play, out the footage. I was gonna say we're gonna play the footage. Check, we'll check see. out the Titan footage yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, I'm the hunter. Yeah. I think I remember leading the team. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, I will but, say this: that the way that it, it does move. Um, it felt a, it felt like it has the ability maybe to have like raid type mechanics within like a three person strike. Like it felt not like a full raid, but there were moments there where you're like, oh, this is a this is a new little area that I'm fighting a different version of the boss, and we went down a little deeper, and then there was different attributes to it. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it felt good. Like I really I really liked it a lot. I did enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed it a lot. Uh, did they fix the problem? We don't know yet. I feel like like yeah. it's better. It was this experience it was, was definitely better than oh yeah. Basically anything I experienced in <laughs> Destiny 1 narrative-wise. Yeah. So um, it's going to be interesting to see if they can keep that pace up throughout the That's my the big gameplay. question. It yeah. was, and they that's set the, the bar high. That's, that's the same thing I'm going to keep saying. It's like, okay, I played it. You're probably going to have this build of D3 again. Yeah, it's still fantastic. Can you do that for, let's say, a 10-hour fantastic campaign yeah. Yeah. You know, where you're leveling up your Guardian? By the way, we couldn't inspect any of our gear. No. It was disabled in this build, so yeah, we don't out. know what that's going to look like. There were some new inventory item slots, like uh, I wrote them down here. There's a dust of yeah. some sort. Mm -hmm. There was and the ability. And we don't know what that is. Uh, something. Uh, yeah, and then there's an ability number that you can get. And it seems like yeah. when you dismantle your weapons, they go into like a weapon hack or you something. You dismantled like. a weapon? No, no, no. There was there was <laughs> wow. a, an <laughs> item on your menu called something. And I, I, oh. I think it's going to be when you dismantle your weapons, it goes there. Oh. So they fixed a ton of problems for... Existing Guardians. My question has always been, will they be able to get those new Guardians into Destiny 2? I think campaign is that Trojan yeah. horse, though, you know? And again, like, that's what I thought was always missing. But now, like, if you just want to come in and play an awesome single-player campaign, yeah. you can. Now, well, is it awesome? We'll see. So far, it's awesome. And how long is it, like we've been talking about? But I've talked to people about Call of Duty, like, uh, about that topic, and they... It always surprises me. There's a lot of people who actually do just play it for the single player, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've always considered it such a PvP game. And then you know, they, I think they start playing some PvP and other stuff out so, of that. So. I'll tell you what, they did not yeah. fix warlock stinky grenades. Oh, They're yeah. still there. <laughs> well, but that's yeah. not true. They have so, nerfed you get them, one. and we yeah. talked to yeah. them a little bit, and they talked yeah. about adjusting that. But it's yeah. weird because I remember specifically at that first part when I was the warlock in the camp in the campaign. I, I went through the grenades, I was like, oh, sticky. And I just yeah. had to try it out, and I threw it kind of intentionally off, like, the cabal guy a little yeah, bit. And I'm yeah. like, oh. And I was this is just gonna be like, terrible okay. trials. <laughs> I know. But this is in our, uh, our our longer interview later as well. And I know, CG, you were far away. You yeah, it's gonna here. be tomorrow. They probably. talk about, you know, the split there and uh, changing some things up with that, so. Yeah. yeah, so we actually have a great question from Beyond Belief, and he says, did the yeah. game overall feel the same to the first one? And my answer to that is, it felt pretty different. There's some core mechanics there. The mm -hmm. shooting feels like shooting, but like my scout feels a lot slower. Yeah, and it's heavy. hard. It's hard to make that determination, but I would say it's pretty different. Like, really? Well, well, I mean, there's still the shooting, right? The shooting still feels right. The the grenades feel mm -hmm. the same. There's parts that feel the same, but that running at 30 in in 4K on PS4 Pro and then playing it on PC and stuff, it does feel different. It but feels like a different experience. But that's different. I mean, are you comparing 30p Destiny 2 to 30p well, let's Destiny look at this. 1? Okay, story mode right away, right? Yep. That's totally different. 30p, that's totally fine. It's a great experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, 30p in Destiny 1, like, there's not really anything to compare it to. That's fantastic narrative. We have cutscenes yes. and then missions that we go on. Cutscenes and missions that we go on. The cutscenes were great yeah, in yeah. like Taken King, for example, but nothing like this where a cutscene happens, then characters are actually real time. with yes. you in Cinematic real action, time, yeah. 
helping you defend against volleys of missiles and stuff like that. That stuff was awesome. Yeah, that was yeah. great. Like, it was just when you so say cool it experience. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Coming at you. Sound effects. I love that no, sound effect guy. What's, you know what's his name again? Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. In, the, in the video. <laughs> the yeah. Um, they, the, the sound is awesome. I don't yeah. know if we're talking yeah. about that later, but uh, the fireball that's grenade just, sound. Did yeah. you hear the it? Which one? The fireball grenade. The oh, war. really? No. When you throw it, it's like it goes. Nice. And it like it's. It sounds You've really tuned good. into the sound effects show, everybody. <laughs> yeah. When I so, Fran, I want to know what you think. Do you think that uh, the game feels the same as the first one? You seem to think no. Or yes. So for me, it's yeah. same song in a different key. And yeah. what I mean by that, right, is like, it, it's all like the same. Like you would, and that was, you were getting it earlier, I think, right, CJ? Like you hop right in, you know where everything is. Yeah. It feels the same in that sense. But I know what you're getting at, Destin, especially as someone who's put in 2,000 hours. There's these like changes. So if you've played that, like just, enough of it it's like yeah the float of the jumps mm -hmm. the, the gun feel itself the, the 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 flinch and the recoil and like the huds and the new effects the new particles and yeah. like it all comes together in a way you're like it's totally it is totally different but it's the same as all i'm saying if that makes sense yeah um what i yeah i don't know what it, did you think well and it's not bad like so let's no i hope the people don't think i think it feels great yeah by the way. it does campaign feels great uh, not bad but it definitely feels a little yeah. different. The float is more than, yeah. that's the biggest yes. thing I would call I'm not sold on or not sure of yet. It was, the Warlock was super floaty. Well, yeah. there's like, there's a third power now tripping. that you activate by pressing and holding circle. Yes. And that's something that does not exist yeah. in Destiny yeah. 1. So there's this whole new item that you need to learn to play with. Yeah, and with Sh at Shade Step Hunters, like that's mm -hmm. where that felt very Do you very hold circle for Shade Step you or double, you double tap? You double tap, though. right? So then it's it's weird where it's like, even, I don't know how to explain it, like it's 30p, but the, the cadence of it, it just feels it's a little motion blur different. And There's effects. a little more motion blur. There might be like, you know, some any aliasing. There's, yeah. there's something doing, that's, Camera shake yeah. and all kinds of stuff. It, and it's not bad. You notice it though, and I don't know how to really put like. But as someone who's played it a ton, would you have even that, noticed otherwise? But I think that's the issue because we played Destiny One so much, and when you go in, you're just you know your brain does just learn oh, to adapt yeah. to what the happens. color period the color like, the palette like all that yeah. stuff it starts to when it changes and there's a few things from sound effects to the visuals and all that stuff that the way it kind of carries out everybody said the same thing and even for pvp time to kill is a little longer um how you move is just a little bit different mm -hmm. um so yeah it'd be interesting to see if people enjoy that change and can you go back and forth between Destiny 1 and 2, I think the big thing I liked is at least the control scheme felt similar and yeah. the aiming was good and... But your weapons are all moved around, you have this new power, your jump feels different. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's interesting, there's new moves. Mm -hmm. yeah. For sure. So we're going to move on right now to a segment that we shot with Mark Noseworthy. Now Mark Noseworthy is one of the leads on the project along with Luke Smith. Uh, later in the show, we will have both of them Welcome with some great quotes. Of, and Mark has some details for you about the game that you're going to be interested in, and I'll just let him speak for himself in this little segment we shot earlier in the day that I hope we're cutting to right now. <laughs> Welcome to a special episode of Fireteam Chat from the Destiny 2 event. Fran is joining me today, hey, along with Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy, two leads on Destiny 2. Guys, you just had your big reveal. How do you feel? Dude, we're tired. Straight, straight up. <laughs> it's like, the end of the day, it's, right? It's, so, yeah, it's been, it's been a long stretch here to get this done and we are like the yeah we're, we're getting run down i'm so done with waking up at 5 a.m in a cold sweat like every day you know, <laughs> thinking, is, is it good enough what are yeah. we gonna you know well uh, you're gonna still we're not the game's not done i know so yeah you're still but maybe i can make it to 5 15 now or yeah. something an extra so some beauty rest yeah so you've worked hard to get here but like what was your feeling from the crowd today you know that's what people usually talk about after it was pretty feeling? inspiring like we you know, we were practicing yesterday, and we've been rehearsing for a while. It is small crowds or nobody, and you don't know like, is this joke gonna land? Or like, we didn't know if would people applaud at anything. You know, because sometimes these things are just people are just like typing on their keyboards, and yeah. it's really stoic and whatever. And then when people like cheered when like Zavala and Shax and like, whoever the third person was, like they're like a fire team in that you know that first trailer, and they cheered at that, I was like, oh man. Like, like people, the, people are into this. The, it's the home team. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are digging what we are selling. Yeah. You know? like and, and so then, and it felt like, you know, first we filled up the room, which was cool, and then just people were really excited. And I think the first tip was there were folks doing the wave before the event even oh, started. Yeah. Yeah. That was like I had never seen anything like that yeah. before at an event like this. See, so my Destiny One uh, IGN clan 
huge group on Bungie.net. What's going to happen in Destiny 2? Do I have to recreate that? Am no I starting asked, over? It's great. No one's asked this question today. Yeah. Like all the, which, which is really scary because maybe. All right. Well, that was a little tease about the with the Mark and Luke <laughs> interview that we're going to show at the end of the show. Uh, there is a ton of great stuff in there. Uh, thanks to those guys for coming on the show mm -hmm. and uh, talking with us a little bit. Now, we also have an interview with just Mark Noseworthy, who we interviewed a little bit earlier in the day. And uh, Fran, so you were, you were talking a little bit about the campaign yeah. and how you felt. I'm floundering. No, it's <laughs> okay. Good, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're, so, we're switching anyway. a lot live, by the yeah. way, after a 10-hour day, so forgive us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so that's a tease. We're actually going to cut back to Mark Noseworthy now. And this is the interview that we meant to show. Okay. <laughs> Stay tuned for the it's, it's an awesome to play solo, but playing with other people is really, really amazing. And so we wanted to give people an easy way to have other people to play with. We're doing that in Destiny 2 through clans. Every time you're playing, you log on and you're going to see this roster of other people that are just like you. Maybe someone's doing a Nightfall, maybe someone's doing a patrols and you're just like, I'll, I'll go do patrols with that guy. And that's going to, I think, help just between players continue to have people engage and play longer. But we're also introducing clan reward. And so this means that there are going to be challenges for each clan. And then if you guys accomplish those things, you're going to get rewards, right? And so you can get rewards just by participating passively um, as part of a clan. And, and that's going to help drive a bunch of player behavior and get people to like want to log in and play the game. We changed up the way the weapon slots work because we were trying to uh, add more player choice basically. The first slot is a kinetic slot, so these are uh, weapons that shoot bullets and do damage to things. The second slot are energy weapons. You know, these are your damage types, void, arc, solar, and, and they take down shields faster, uh, and they, they do more damage to shielded enemies. They also do more damage to players who, other players in PvP who have their super enabled. Um, and then the third slot is the power weapon slot. The key about the kinetic and energy slots, they contain the same weapons. Where in Destiny 1, your first slot was like only these specific archetypes. Now the archetypes of weapons that go into the first and second slot, kinetic and energy, are the same. So if you want to rock two hand cannons, one kinetic, another energy, you can totally do that. We're trying to make more than a game here. We're trying to make a hobby, something we want to play as like one of our preferred things to do when we kick back and relax after work. And that means having, uh, that means really supporting the game, right? That means playing it in the, out and alive as players ourselves. It means patching the game, uh, you know, in, at, at a cadence that makes sense with the, the way the players are playing it. That means injections of new content periodically, like the expansions, like events, uh, like Festival of Lost, um, and, and doing that in a consistent kind of predictable way. We're looking more but the, what we've done with Destiny and like, hey, like we've had some successes there and maybe some missteps. How do we do that even better with Destiny 2? And we think we're really poised to deliver some incredible, like, you know, sustained support for the game. Guardian Town. We try to make the best experience we can on every single console. First and foremost, Destiny is an action game, so it needs to feel good to play. You know, whether that's mouse or keyboard controls, um, whether that's playing with a controller on you know, uh, the PlayStation 4 or on Pro, we're trying to just deliver an amazing experience on, on each platform. PC is a platform that's scalable, so if you want to spend more money on hardware, the game can run better, right? And we're, we're excited to support that for PC players. That's what they expect. A bunch of us are PC fans. That's what we want, right? If you want to play the 21.9 monitor, or you want to play with a crazy FOV, or you want to hit all these graphics things, you want to turn them all down because you think it gives you an edge in PvP. Have at it. We've got all sorts of options there for players. Excellent, but the charge is ticking. Defuse it. Relax. All right, we are back, everybody. That was our interview with Mark earlier today. Thank you so much for talking about stuff with us, Mark. <laughs> you guys are throwing me off because you're changing chairs. Oh, I didn't Wait, I thought it was out. Oh, CJ, yeah. go back to your chair. Sorry, apparently like, wanted us to switch chairs every time we cut away. <laughs> Just once. So, it's that time of night, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> that was Commander or something uh, in chat, I believe. We are, so. we are hours at, and counting? Yeah, yeah. So 16-hour day, three hours fun. of sleep. We're having a good time, though. We're really excited. And in the next, we are going to talk about 
30 versus 60p because everybody's talking about this. Does it matter? Well, I learned today, everybody, that CJ Gibson cannot play on PC oh, worth a oh, damn day. No, I can't. You have no idea what you're doing. I have no game yeah. whatsoever. Uh, it was really, really interesting. Wait, can I, can I, before we get into this topic, yeah. I do want to address chat just really fast if All I right. can. Just if you were really happy with today's reveal, Type ones in chat. If you are still wondering, type twos. And if you are not happy, type three. So no is a three, yes a one, and in between a two. Curious uh, what you are thinking in chat. Yeah, and I just want to throw this that is a very scientific out. method. We actually have an algorithm at IGN <laughs> where uh, chat I just gets spammed with a bunch of numbers. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Dude, going ones. ones. There's some threes. A lot of ones. We're gonna count Bam. them for yeah. the rest. Thank of you, the everybody stream. on Twitch. We're going until 9:30. No, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> CJ, PC, awesome. you played it. It was. Foreign territory for you, you are not going to play on PC. I mean, I will say this. I am not going to play on PC with a mouse and keyboard. Mm -hmm. Now, playing with a controller on PC, definitely. Yeah. And when you think of 60 frames and 30 frames for me, <laughs> that is a huge difference. So I actually, I, I can't decide if I'm going to go my main for PC or if I'm going to go. Yeah, right. No, I mean, I, if PC. I get a we'll controller, see. no, because here's the thing. Obviously, people are going to gravitate towards Crucible on PvP. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a piece of me that wants to do that for that reason. On PC. Have you ever PC? played competitively with PvP on PC? Well, though? of course I haven't, but yeah. that's what I'm saying. So I, I understand it's a different game. <laughs> Stop that. You know that. a PC stands for. Stop that! <laughs> so I wanted to start with CJ because he is a strange example of somebody that does not want to play on PC. He wants to stay on console. Now for me, rumors and lies. for me it was it was really interesting to play on this other platform at 60. So I'm like, wow, yeah. like I gotta adjust my sensitivity of my mouse. I really gotta dial in yes. with my controls. And I did okay, like yeah. not great, but. But does it feel like Destiny though? That. Yeah. It I still it feels totally like really? Destiny. You oh, know what? Man. It reminded me of Overwatch, and maybe I'm making that correlation ah. because of the Blizzard partnership with yeah, online maybe. play. By the way, but I mean, but it is it a felt colorful, fast There's, shooter. Mm -hmm. I mean, but it's not Overwatch. Um, no, it's not. No, of course, it's not. I know Overwatch. what you mean by that. Yeah, yeah. You you like the fluidity of Overwatch. It's is a fluid, awesome. colorful shooter and that's running at 60 yeah. with uh, three different class yeah. types that you can pick and. It's intense. Like we were yeah. doing the new multiplayer mode at 60 on PC. I know I'm going to say that repeatedly. <laughs> but so we're running that, and it was really, really interesting. And we should know PC is uncapped. You know, they're yes. not like. You can I, put it at 200 frames yeah. per second if you have dual 1080s. Yeah. 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 I do want to confirm, actually. I, I went into the settings. It was just set at medium for what we were able to look at. But 4K 60. Yeah. Lots. Yes. Yeah. It was very yeah. smooth. Um, but again, it's like uncapped settings. And so the more powerful you are, the better it's going to be. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to see it on higher settings yeah. at 1080p, actually. I'm very curious like what enhancements they're doing that's what I thought was interesting and I didn't get to see the campaign did you they, it was running right it, yeah, yeah it was running right over there it looked great but no did it look map. like a bunch of new effects type thing or just like a lot crisper you know what I mean it looked crisper all that stuff's running in 4k so it looked fantastic on PC mm -hmm. I think PC players are gonna be in for a real oh, yeah. oh, treat. For sure. Like it's they've been be asking huge, for that forever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, for yeah. me, so as a console guy, again, I I know I'm gonna get flamed for this. I actually do like 30. I mean, it, it's a familiar territory for me. Now the game, it, honestly, like it feels and looks great at 30. But from a competitive standpoint, I know that there's gonna be the whole mouse keyboard controller thing is gonna be a very, you know, dividing it, scene. If uh, you plug PC. in a controller on a PC and play against PC players, you're gonna get stomped. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So for, and for that reason, so there's a lot of guys, you know, like me, I know that are just they're not gonna adapt to a mouse and keyboard at this phase. Like and so for, for me, I'm gonna enjoy trying to <laughs> play on PC mm -hmm. and I'm gonna give it a shot. But I know that Ultimately, I'll be playing on PS4, and it'll, it'll be good. Yeah, it'll it be classic uh, Destiny still. Yeah. yeah, it's a bummer Duggan wasn't here to get a look at it. It's a, you know, we realize, by the way, there's a ton of PC fans out there in the audience, probably. Yeah. And like, we do play like a little I'm PC, but we're just not. It looks great. You know, <laughs> yeah. but what I'm saying is like, we don't play PC religiously today, yeah. and so meaning we don't want to. I just don't want to misrepresent. Like, I think PC is super exciting. Sorry though that we're not like. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, I saw Lupo mm -hmm. over there who plays with mouse and keyboard on and console. Then he plays Overwatch and stuff, and like. <laughs> Seeing him move over. By the way, they had like a mini tournament going, yeah. like already by the end of the day. Like you can see where PC's going. Yeah. I didn't see that happen over on the console side. No. So no. that that to me is a very clear indicator of what we thought. Like the competitive mm -hmm. players are going to move in force to PC. Um, yeah. Not that it won't be competitive. On competitive PS4, players who want to play on PC and Xbox yeah. and everything. Sorry, yeah. I play on PS4. I'm not. 
Well, Pretty like Lupo plays stuff. on keyboard and mouse, right? Yeah. On Xbox. Yeah, right he's, now. he's yeah. been dying. Well, mm -hmm. we talked to him. He's like been waiting for this and dying to see it. And his comment was like, man, now I got to go back and play Destiny 1 for now. And it's mm -hmm. going to be really weird. Like, yeah. Well, speaking of that, that like, so we play at 60 on PC, then we go over and we play uh, the consoles at 30. It was jarring. Yeah. I was like, whoa, yeah. like it feels slow. Yeah. And I'm yeah. just like, man, I might, I might have to make the switch. Yeah. I might have to find a game might finally push me over the ledge and make me play exclusively on PC. Yeah. PvP, yeah. I mean, I would love to play there. It is intense though. Yeah, like aim assist is no longer there really. And like it's uh it's different. Um, yeah. but it's really exciting. But I will say, and I know you were talking about this earlier, like PvE, like I would happily play at 30 frames like like totally decked out if there was a bunch of graphical improvements. Otherwise, mm -hmm. 60s fine, but meaning I can appreciate playing PvE at 30 is fine by me. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't, you know, so far anyway, I haven't felt like I need that like crazy on cap frame rate for PVE. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but for PVP, yeah, it's a huge difference going back, obviously, just to the. On capped, I'm so so, but 60 locked. That's what I mean, whatever you want. 60 locked at 4K, like, wow. Yeah. Running yeah. 4K 30 on your TV, like, all right, I guess I got to buy a Scorpio and a PS4 Pro yeah. and a TV. And yeah. I have, you know? it, it brings up an interesting point. I have, like, you know, a 4K TV finally, mm -hmm. and it's gotten me into that, like, oh man, I can't wait to play and see more stuff on it. And now, I have my PS4 stuff pre-ordered and everything, and like, well, actually, I guess it, it outputs at 4K, so it'll be nice to have that upgrade, but still, like, true, let's call it, high-end 4K. Well, mm -hmm. you could hook a PC up, it'd be amazing. And then, like I said, Scorpio, I don't know, man. Yeah. Be very mm -hmm. curious to see. I think the only- It's really good. The only thing that you're forgetting, and maybe this is something that I guess we'll see what happens, is where's the community going? Because right now, again, we mm -hmm. have a lot of people who play on PS4, and obviously, if you play on Xbox, you're gonna have- My whole Ray there. team, they're like, we're staying PS4? Brian Malkowitz, he's uh, right back there, switching. He said the same thing. I tried he's going to, Scorpio, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep, and I tried to up. entice him to, you know, I said, you're gonna do PS4 Pro? He's like, nah, man, my crew, you know, I can't abandon them. So I think that's gonna weigh still heavily into people playing it. I mean, let's face it, I am not a competitor competitive PvP player. When you see yeah, the noticed. competitive guys, <laughs> says this guy, stop that. <laughs> but you know when, when there's a difference between the skill gap. We talk oh, about yeah. that. You can feel the difference between somebody who's got a 0.5 KD, a one, yeah. a two, a three, and once that starts happening, you're gonna see a lot of people gravitate towards, oh, I'm, I'm at this like, you know, KD, I'm gonna go to PC, and that's what, they do? what I do. Tiered play and everything, like they do with Overwatch on yeah. Battle.net, and well, like that would be interesting. Yeah. I wanna do another chat experiment very, very oh fast again. <laughs> if you're fine with 30 and not worried about it, type 30. Oh. If you're 60 or above, type 60. Mm -hmm. I wanna see what chat lights up with, by the way, <laughs> A ton of ones in chat earlier. Uh, this was in Twitch chat anyway. Seems like people were pretty happy with the demo today. There yeah. were some threes though, and yeah. a few twos, but it overwhelmingly like a ton of ones. Well, I think the people watching are the hardcore Destiny fans who are oh. really interested in Destiny oh. 2, for example, right? I get 30. 60, right? 30. 30. 30. No, I'm seeing, there's, a, there's like an even mix. No, really? 30, there's 30, a ton 60, of 144s, 165. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there is actually a, a lot, lot of 30s. 30s. So uh, it's pretty balanced. Nice job, win for win with a 420. Uh, <laughs> Good job, everybody. That is no, a reference. It's, it's <laughs> Stop it. is it? Um, what hour are we? Um, but no, you know what? It's uh, funny to see. There's a it's a split thing in chat, and like that's, I think that's what we're representing a little today. Like, of course, sixty is called better technologically. I'm torn. Like, I don't yeah. know what to do. Yeah, but it's yeah. great that they're doing it. But you know, you got to be on a PC, and yeah. a lot of people only have that set up in a corner of their home or office. And like, some people want to kick it back on the couch and like don't have that type of setup. And it's the just thing is, there's nothing wrong with either one, by the way. And I think no, that's of course the important not. part. Yeah, none is worse. Like, yeah. I, yeah. yeah, we've been playing 30 frames Destiny forever, and I love it. It's so much fun. Yeah, PVP especially. Yeah. I've learned to be a PVP player in that experience, which is really surprising. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just as excited to try 60, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, like, with PC, you can put it whatever you want. Hey, lock it at 30 on PC, you're done. Yeah. Problem yeah. solved. It's, uh, yeah, you can see, though, there's a lot of PC there's fans who are like, of course. Course. They're, they're in there telling you it's not okay. Uh, it is, What's not okay? It's, meaning they're not saying that. Oh, they're the joking. Vibe that yeah. Some yeah. people are just like, why would you, I just saw it, why would you play a shooter at 30? And it's like, it's nothing wrong with it, man. Some like, people like yeah. campaign but, stuff with a more cinematic feel. Yeah. So but you lock it, it at 30, it's closer to that 24 movie feel. Yeah, yeah but, but for is. a game. Like, but I think the argument yeah. to make, and like, I- Like, look at Uncharted. They did, they gave you the option, or sorry, Last of Us did yeah. it first, I think. They gave you the option, do you want to play at 30 or 60? Yeah. And 
people chose. But what we can agree on, and I know this is where it's coming from, it's more precise, of course, mm -hmm. at a higher frame right. rate and a mouse. Again. Like, yes, a shooter and the precision of it, but that doesn't make it wrong to play it in the other format. And as you adapt to it, too, your brain does adapt to that feel that you're still landing your hits. And I mean, granted, there's some aim assist in there, but like, it's okay, it's fun. That's all that matters. I think that's gonna be the bigger issue is if you plan to go back and forth between the two. Like, if you're just gonna be locked onto one platform, if you're PC, you're not gonna care. If you're on mm. PlayStation 4 or Xbox at 30, you're not gonna care. Uh, and for me, again, like I'm glad that there's a couple, there's a couple 30s there. I was kind of, <laughs> when you said that, I was like, going, oh, oh, no, no. oh, this is not no, good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I do enjoy 30, and so regardless of how much I get flamed for that, it's a familiarity, yeah. it's a comfort. It's not your fault. So I need an intervention. You <laughs> see my vault lately? Have you seen my vault? <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, so for, from that standpoint, for me, I'm not upset that you know, consoles are 30 at all. I, I kind of expected that. Yeah, but you're gonna try PC out. Definitely. You're yeah. gonna learn how to use a keyboard and mouse. No. <laughs> you're I just going to plug in the controller? I think I'm going to plug in the controller, yeah. And you're going to go into competitive play? I'm going to try doing PvP. Right. I, so like I, feels, yeah, because you never know. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it might. So, I mean, that is, and that's the test, right? Like, and I think that I could try keyboard and mouse, but I, like I did that so long ago that it's kind of out of my DNA. Like, I mean, I played the earlier. You just got to get used to it again. I know, don't don't write it off. No, but. I know. I'm not saying completely. I will give it a shot, but I have a feeling I'm going to want to try the controller on PC and see mm -hmm. how it feels. But I think we can all can agree it's a beautiful experience on it the is. PC. It's not like it a really weird is. port and there's no. weird like what's going. It's like wow, it's yeah. exactly what you saw. But higher res, slick, fast, yeah. um, it's very good. fluid. And they've they're, yeah, they talked about that as well in our interview. Just the work they're doing to make sure all the key mapping and the special mm -hmm. uh, stuff that comes with PC is going to be in there. Vicarious Visions is helping out with that process. Yeah. Um, but it was something they started before. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So I think that kind of wraps up our PC versus PS4 or 30 versus the 60 chat. PC mm -hmm. Master Race argument. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Scorpio's still gonna come into the mix at a later date. Mm -hmm. uh, I am completely torn about what platform I'm gonna play yeah, on. I got my pre-order yeah. now and I'm like, well, I was gonna get PC <laughs> yeah. anyway, but I will say it like, I know that we're not sure and I keep bringing it up, but if Scorpio came out at like, it's a console 60 experience, wow, wouldn't that it's gonna be, be a 30. Real zinger? I'm 90% sure they said it's 30. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I heard it differently, I guess. But yeah, this has been again a twelve-hour day. So, yeah. um, I was gonna say the exclusives though on PlayStation. You know, we didn't get to see any of that or whatever that we mm -hmm. know of. But that's obviously still very important to a lot of players out there. And if you want that, that exclusive, exclusive content, content, mm -hmm. and we don't know where that begins and ends. Like, uh, I don't think I've seen like that it, you're gonna have exclusive exotics and stuff for sure, right? But yeah, they, they will. They right? didn't talk about that. They said no. they love their partnership with Sony and everything. Of course, of course, yeah, you they do. do. Mm -hmm. But they can't yeah, they talk do. about Scorpio. <laughs> What's going on with the Xbox? Yeah. Hopefully, we get yeah. some news at E3 about what's going on there. I mean, I hope we get the score. We call Phil E3. Spencer right now. Yeah, give, give him a quick call. Hey, Phil? Yeah. Uh, but Six, that is 60. A, no, <laughs> that is a piece of the puzzle that has not been oh. figured out yet. <laughs> Solve it, Desmond. What? No, it's a piece of the puzzle that hasn't been solved yet. For he's <laughs> <laughs> playing time for our next he's segment, everybody. Done. For uh, what is our next segment, for, Destin? Tell me about yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. The game, the different platforms, the Scorpio. Anyway, our next segment is our interview. It's a five minute cut of a 45 minute interview we had with Mark Noseworthy and Luke Smith. And we have some really, really great stuff in here. They address dedicated servers. They talk about the PS4 Pro and what it can handle and some other stuff. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it and it's coming up right now. Welcome to a special episode of Fireteam Chat from the Destiny 2 event. Fran is joining me today. Hey, Guardians. Along with Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy, two leads on Destiny 2. Guys, you just had your big reveal. How do you feel? Dude, we're tired. Straight, straight up. <laughs> it's like, the end of the day, it's, right? It's, it's, so, yeah, it's been, it's been a long stretch here to get this done, and we are like the, yeah, we're, we're getting run down. I'm so done with waking up at 5 a.m. in a cold sweat, like, every day. <laughs> Thinking, is, is it good enough? What are yeah. we gonna, you know? Well, you're gonna still, we're not, the game's not done, I know. so. Yeah. Still but maybe up I can 5 make it to 515 now or yeah. something, an extra, so some beauty rest? Yeah, so you've worked hard to get here, but like, what was your feeling from the crowd today? You know, that's what people usually talk about after. It was pretty feeling? inspiring, like we, you know, we were practicing yesterday and we've been rehearsing for a while, in just small crowds or nobody, and you don't know like, is this joke gonna land? Or like, we didn't know if would people applaud at anything, you know, because. Sometimes these things are just, people are just like typing on their keyboards and yeah. it's really stoic and whatever. And then when people like cheered when like Zavala and Shaxx and like whoever the third person was, like they're like a fire team in that, you know, that first trailer. 
and they cheered at that. I was like, oh man, like, <laughs> like people, the, people are into this. The, it's the home team. Yeah, they are, <laughs> they are digging what we are selling. Yeah. You know? like, and, and so then, and it felt like, you know, first we filled up the room, which was cool. And then just people were really excited. And I think the first tip was there were folks doing the wave before the event even oh, started. Yeah. Yeah. That was like I had never seen anything like that yeah. before at an event like this. So my Destiny 1 uh, IGN clan, huge group on Bungie.net. What's going to happen in Destiny 2? Do I have to recreate that? No one's asked, over? This is great. No one's asked this question today. Yeah. Like all the, which, which is really scary because maybe it means people don't have clans they care about. Yeah. But really good because the answer is we're preserving your clan. Thank God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. The existing yeah. group continues. You will not have to recreate it. So what about that limitation? Because it's like it's, it's either 75 per platform or 150 per platform. I never figure out the math. But uh, what happens there? Are those being expanded? The uh, the, I'm not sure. We'd have to ask Emmy what the exact limitation is. But what we what we don't want to do is incentivize clans to grow so big they're like unwieldy masses. Yeah. So we basically think of the importance of clans is about giving you a group of active players who are available. We have some numbers and what we think that that should be. The progression systems. We'll try to get you an active group of players. But but uh, yeah, if if you have X players today, I believe you'll have you'll be able to have up to X players. I, an important clarification there though so you were touting ps4 pro today we know scorpio's coming will it run at 60 frames per second on those consoles so uh we have no announcements about scorpio today we're not okay. we're not talking about that yet but the pro was here and you know it was running in 4k and oh, looks so great that you know? was running 4k today. yeah okay awesome it, it will not run at 60. okay on the pro yeah, yeah. Just, i don't want i don't want people to like continue to hope or anything like that just we're going to be matter of fact about something Got it. That's fantastic. So, why did you make that decision? You're like, we're going to lock it at 4K 30 max on consoles. Is it just like you don't want to push the consoles too hard, or why do you why do you make that choice? So, I mean, I I can wade into this and you can flesh it out. Like the the, the console, like the PS4 Pro is super powerful, but it couldn't run our game at 60. Like the way that, like our game is this rich physics simulation with collision of players, networking, etc. And like we like it wouldn't run. Yeah. yeah. Not makes sense. Well, like, not, enough, yeah. not enough horsepower there. But yet. there's tons of GPU power in the PS, PS4 Pro, and that's why we're doing 4K, right? Like, it's on the CPU side. Like, Destiny Simulation, we, like, we have more AI to shoot, more monsters in, a, in an environment with physically simulated vehicles and characters and projectiles. You know, it's part of the Destiny magic, like that like 30 seconds of fun of coming around a corner, throwing a grenade, popping a guy in the head, and then you add like five, six, seven other players in a public event. That is incredibly intensive for hardware, right? Crucible tech, specifically Trials of Osiris. You guys know that is like one of your premier multiplayer modes. Are we getting dedicated servers? We are not getting dedicated servers. Rip the dream. <laughs> why, why? It's just not an investment that that, okay. that we made for Destiny 2. Like the, uh, I understand there's, there's certainly desire for it, but you know, this, the smaller team format, although it's one bigger in the trials case, yeah. for sure here. Yeah, the smaller team formats in general, easier for us to find tighter matches. And we're, we're also going to rechange the, the parameters for matchmaking to refocus on uh, connection quality instead of like, like trials win matching. Or we're going to like change the, we're going to change a bunch of the parameters to focus on giving people better network experiences. And is trials there at launch? We're not really talking about like, we're, okay. you know, we don't want to go into too much detail on trials. We got some some cool stuff planned for trials that we're going to unveil later this year. So we don't want to. I can, don't want to I, give away I actually, too much. I can give away. Like the, like the, I love trials. I think trials of Osiris are one of the coolest things in Destiny. Although he can no you know, longer I make it, it, he can no longer make it to the lighthouse, and that's why all the rules are changing. But <laughs> I, yeah, go I, continue. I, yeah. I, I can't imagine shipping Destiny two and not having a trials-like experience there very soon. Like, okay. Very soon. I mean, the first like, like launch window. Like, no, answer, like, by the way, that was launch, good. La launch, uh, launch, it, launch window. It's gonna, like, it's gonna, like, does launch window include the Osiris DLC? W way before that. Okay. Great. All right. Awesome. All right. So, guys, we have a tradition at the end of the show. We always point say Guardians out. Do you, are you down to do it? Sure. Which one do right. we point right. at? Right. So, until next time, everybody. Guardians, Guardians out. out. All right, we're back. I hope you guys enjoyed that segment. A lot of juicy details. That is 
five minutes of a 45 minute interview that we did with those two guys. And thank you so much, Mark and Luke and uh, Genevieve and Drew and everybody that helped make that happen. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, as for you, chat, I just want to say, I saw a lot of your comments to CJ about not playing on <laughs> PC. I just want to say thank you. I, somebody <laughs> needed to say it. And I'm glad it was you. Chat's being wow. so nice Thank to me. Thank you so much. You Chat's know? being It's well being deserved and really nice. like, I, I play on PC, CJ. All right, right. whatever. Played, played Overwatch on PC? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. How many hours? So keep it coming. Oh, keep it no. coming. Okay. Directed fine. at him. Fine. That's fair. No, you wanted to address it. I'm super old. That's fine. <laughs> That's the reason why. <laughs> We won't go Did, what? That doesn't make any sense. It does. I cannot <laughs> get rid of my controller. I didn't say I'm not going to try mouse I'm and I'm old, keyboard. so I haven't played the original platform games for No! <laughs> you know when like, somebody saying. walks out You're of a... You're digging a hole. You know, happening. like an awkward conversation, and you like creep out the back. <laughs> like, this saying, is what I'm trying to do. I will like, try get out of this. mouse and keyboard, <laughs> but yes, the flames are well-deserved. And I am going to still try the controller <laughs> just to see, maybe. Oh, He's right, a video. Producer, he's Move used to 24 p. Move yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sick he'll get there true. on PC. That's someday. good. That's it's good. Pretty good. Nice. Bro, we are we are by the way having uh, all this fun while probably everyone's like, what? No dedicated servers? They just came out and said, yeah. That. Okay, so yeah. let's wow. talk trials. No dedicated servers. You yep. were telling me something about some weird text research you did about the delay, and oh. dedicated servers would have improved that. Yes. And also, trials of Osiris coming. It seems like before the first DLC drop. Maybe, so I yeah. mean, and let's just get it right off, you know, 4v4. Yeah, for yeah. everything. Big change, yeah. 4v4 so, for And no yeah. vehicles, like, so we were talking about predictions of what's, you know, is there gonna be big team battles, is there gonna be a lot of different, you know, references to all these kind of different game modes. It's 4v4, at least right now. Could they make it, you know, bigger game numbers in the future? Um, you know, who knows, but right now, 3v3 is not a thing for trials, mm -hmm. or that we know of. It's going to be 4v4. I think a lot of people are actually really excited about this, though. Now, you were talking really briefly with me about the fact that, you know, you thought it was kind of interesting to take that equation out only because you enjoyed trials of 3v3. Well, the it's tough as 3v3, meaning, you know, if one person goes down, I mean, it's just math. Like, yeah. 33% of your team is down and then 66%, meaning last man standing happens faster. Yep. Um, and so it just changes. It's just the idea of going uh, just... It happens all the time. You go two and then a one, maybe. Yeah. But now you can very easily go two and twos, and it really just changes things. Now I'm not saying it's bad. I yeah. think it's probably the right move because trials is brutal. Well, yeah. And the um, competitive scene likes four v four. Like that's yeah. the way people like to play. Like they do map control. It's just a little bit. It's more familiar too. I mean, you know, Halo Team Slayer has long been you know four v four type game. Um, well, so now two people can carry. Yeah, me it's from not trials. new to Bungie. <laughs> by the way. It's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get ready, oh, you guys. The <laughs> um, see, but that was a very bold statement that they literally right out of the gate. Oh, and by the way, it's four v four, and that's it. I was super 4v4 surprised for that. all crucible modes. Yes, yeah. all modes. Yeah. That really surprised How's me. How's that gonna impact control? I mean, that's, that's what I'm wondering. Point. You have, like, right now, control is three points on the map. Does it become two? Do you try and overtake the other, yeah. other point? It's going to be really interesting. They yeah. talk about, in our longer interview, right, the, they're trying to really build the map around the mode. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously, they're, they'll double down where they can, but they talked about the map we played today with Countdown. They're like, that was designed for Countdown, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. around Countdown. So, you know, I don't know if, if I wanted to ask about trials I didn't get to, but, I, like, will there be, like, trials maps? Um, maybe not because everything's sort of built for 4v4 well, ones in that general. Cater to it, but sure. meaning like control has these drop points, and so mean, you know. Well, I like right now we don't get vehicle maps for trials, for example. Like right. that's not going to happen. So God, the, like not. in Destiny yeah. One, that's kind of how they handled it. There, there will be maps that only work that work specifically for trials, and others won't be included yeah. in the rotation. Yep, but I mean, know, like, well, I'm, okay, I don't know that. I'm just saying, like, yeah. of course that's what they're gonna do. It just seems obvious to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From from a, from a four v four standpoint, though, I mean, I thought that I think we said this on the the show before. Three v three initially was seemed odd. I mean, they did that for the strikes, like, so that makes sense for the strikes. But for PvP, I think it does make sense, and you know, th it will allow them to build really, really balanced, focused maps for competitive people. And again, depending on the game mode, it'll obviously work really well for regular people just going into Crucible as well. So, mm -hmm. definitely. So, uh, you wanted to talk about the new mode, actually. What yeah, Countdown is I what I keep it's forgetting called. the name of it. Countdown. Yeah, I'm well, it's a brand new mode. So, so it's like you have to plant a bomb and you have to defend your bomb points. There's two points. There's one really near where you spawn and there's one sort of in the, the other person's spawn. Yeah. Or 
That's sort kind of, of it. The There's middle. one kind of close to you, or you can go yeah. far and yeah. try to take the one closer to them. Yeah. That was just in the one map we and, played. And uh, it it's be. sort of similar to Trials in that you can kill the whole other team, problem solved, you're good. Yeah, or, once the whole team's down, they're out. Yeah, they can kill you, problem solved, it's good to go. If they plan a bomb, it adds another element. So they've got a bomb planted, it forces you to push to that point and disarm it before it blows up and they win. Yep. So there's a lot of mechanics going on in there. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I enjoyed it, but the map that we played on, there are so many points you can get flanked from. It's oh, like yeah. everywhere. There's yeah. no good place to hide. If you get that pressure of having to detonate that bomb, you have to move into those close quarters. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, when, when you don't know the map of a game, too. Yeah, like, that was the other yeah, issue. Yeah, when you're coming into it fresh like that, that's one of those things where when you learn the map, it's a different ball game. Mm -hmm. So to actually say any kind of assessment on this mode is super difficult. Yeah. Like, for that reason alone, you, you, I you really thought hope. you were blocked off and you weren't, so. I really hope we're not showing the Warlock gameplay, because I did terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We it's are. The producers saying we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we totally are. So I am sorry. <laughs> Accurate. I am sorry, everybody. I was learning a, a class I don't play as in Crucible yeah. normally. I want yeah. my hunter. It could my have been my footage, net. which maybe is better. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, it You're was fun, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I got Warlock after oh, all. Okay. Um, cool. I didn't get to play Hunter or, or Titan, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but at least I've played plenty of Warlock. But um, yeah, I really dig the countdown mode. I think it's a, instantly, like it's an addition. I'm like, that's a great ad. Mm. It feels right. It seemed like everybody was having fun. The rounds go for a while, the way it's designed right now. Yeah, so right now it's that, 5v5, and then the first person to get the sixth win. And a lot of them went to 5-5, five to five, and then to the final match, basically. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, it's a long mode currently in its current state. Yep. Maybe that's what they want. Maybe they want a long multiplayer experience. Yeah. Well, what I did mean, you guys it, think? You didn't really tell me, like, do you like the detonation mechanic? Did you have fun playing the mode? I did, yeah. Like, it definitely, yeah, it splits you up sometimes mm -hmm. because, like, you're trying to, like, protect someone, but at the same time, like, the bomb's going to go off or you need to protect someone. And we didn't have mic communication, though, which I think really yeah. is That's big. the issue. It, yeah, you just can't 100%. play a game like, you can. But, no. like, for this mode, like, I basically, I wanted to be rezzed. Uh, and uh, it's funny, it, it brought back my, um, the one thing in For Honor I really like is there's a button that's like res me by point whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I think would be an awesome addition, by the way, to Destiny for these modes where you have res. But, um, but anyway, without a mic, and like CJ said, it's too early to judge. And we yeah. were also just spinning from the whole day. But I, yeah. in general, the mechanics are there. It felt good. Um, but it, like, it was so much to process in a new day, like new loadouts, new weapons, there's yeah. these power, you know. The subclass trees are yes. really interesting. We had a question about that earlier, but it's like, it's one subclass. It's not like, and then you unlock other pieces of it, mm -hmm, and then yeah. you can mess around with your the, build. The design of that in there actually looked really nice. Like yeah. the way they presented yeah. it, like, and mm -hmm. it felt a little bit more coherent. Like. In mm -hmm. the current Destiny one, it makes sense when you understand I've switched what's weapons in the footage, and I do a little better for the first round. Yeah. <laughs> Just so everybody knows. You're really, Destiny's feeling yeah. really insecure. Really self-conscious. <laughs> I know it's rough gameplay. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so for me, yeah, it's, it's not like I didn't enjoy the mode, but when you can't talk to your teammates and you find yourself... You're kind of going this way, and then I look, yeah, and there's three yeah. teammates going this way, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm just going to turn around and join them, but then, like, the bomb's being planted here, and you're like, oh, well, i got to yeah. make it Communication over here. would change it a ton. Yeah, and I, I do still think that the supers are going to play an important role in that as well, too, because, you know, how you get your super and when you can use it and all that other stuff. Mm. I actually didn't end up killing uh, a, I think it was a... A warlock, right, with my mm -hmm. golden gun, and I hit him direct. I had to shoot him two yeah. or three. No, it is not times. a finished really? game. Too, yeah. Was his super so. activated? Yeah, his super's activated. Interesting. Yeah. So, and it seemed like I got more than three shots with my golden yeah. gun. I, I think there was a meter, and you shot until it was gone. Actually. So, we yeah. should talk. There's some subtle changes going on now. This is one we don't know that balance, but I can relate. I freaking shot a rocket at the dawn blade, yeah. and I was like, here we go again, sunbreakers, because they were just like, whoosh, and I like rocket, and they're like, never mind, like, yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, what? Like, I thought I was putting it down, and then yeah. I was like, ah, I didn't make it out alive. Yeah. Um, so I think there's maybe some balance still going on there, or who knows, it might not be intended to work that well, way. Well, maybe your super is like, it's a super. You're, mm -hmm. you know, you're yeah. maybe more it invincible. It could be, you have a whole bunch of Titan's you know, ridiculous, because yeah. he can jump all over the place with, with one of his 
yeah, Fist of Havoc is different. Yeah, like, you, yeah can you can slam with your heavies, or you can kind of teleport back and forth and side to side yeah, and yeah. really tra traverse the map. Was yeah. Golden Gun changed very much, though? It didn't look like it. No, except for the you fact that, shade. yeah, it felt like you, well, you can shade, but yeah, it felt like the gun was not just three shots and it's out. Like, I remember shooting it four, maybe five oh, really? times. Yeah, so it's it's almost like a meter, like, you know, yeah. a regular super, and you just use it until it's A little, it's like, gone. storm trance and stuff yeah. where, like, you can monitor your yep. energy a little better. Yeah. So I uh, panic super with my warlock actually that people are probably <laughs> seeing, and I'm like, oh, I'm really Dawn low on Blade. health. I'm yeah. really low on health, but I have Dawn Blade. I'll pop it. My health will start regening. That does not happen anymore. No, there's. Mm -hmm. a... I got yeah. I got one hit with a knife. It, I was really mad. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> but you're probably watching it right now. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah. So that's where there's the subclass tree for the supers now. Yeah. With Dawn Blade, there was one where killing enemies extends Dawn Blade. And also, I believe there was one where you could regen health by something. Maybe it was slamming down to the ground like that, um, your recovery move that you can program. But mm -hmm. yet, uh, what I want to point out, there's a lot of these subtle changes that we haven't gotten a hold of. Mm -hmm. um, also, time to kill. Uh, it is. It seemed longer, and they, oh, I think they yeah, confirmed it, right? Longer. So yeah, like time to kill is longer, which really yeah. changes the game. Uh, so yeah, like again, it's same music, different key for me. Like it felt yeah. very similar, but like with all the loadouts, it's a different game for sure that you're gonna have to adapt to. So I'm excited to play more. And something else um, we talk about in more detail, but like they have like, you know, we, people were talking about it at the event, but you, like, you can hear footsteps in PVP. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and it, so the they talk about- The sound design is different in PVP. It, is. it changes the game. Yeah. yeah, so they've really put a lot of thought into- It will, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but uh, again, more details in our longer interview that we'll have up, uh, so I don't know if we know when it goes up, but it'll be on Fire I'm gonna have it up on tomorrow. YouTube. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to stay up all night working on that. So go to <laughs> youtube.com slash fireteam chat. We should have our content rollout throughout the day tomorrow. Committed. Uh, definitely going to have that interview Destiny out. It's Gary. really important to me. Right. So, actually, it's yeah. a very quick call. It's on that, actually. So, yeah, if you're watching us on IGN, uh, you should know, obviously, we have youtube.com slash fireteam chat, Twitter slash fireteam chat. Uh, we're over live on Twitch. Uh, we should call it our Twitters. Destin, where should we find you? Yeah. Twitter.com slash <laughs> at Destin Legary. And I stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. on twitch.tv slash the Destin channel. And I actually mirror that to Fireteam Chat. And Fran, yeah. you often do also. Same, yeah. I'm Twitch TV FM3, and I also mirror that. Uh, CJ trying. has also been streaming lately, right? Trying. I am yeah. Twitch. Video yeah, guy, the, the video, video guy, guy TV. TV. Yeah, but then uh, at Gibson Films on Twitter. Yeah. And Destin, you want to give out your personal uh, cell phone number there? Yeah, exactly. Now, yeah. Now yeah. The call time. you for <laughs> But uh, <laughs> back to the show. But yeah, no, thank everyone for your support. Um, and yeah. just, you know, if you want that interview tomorrow, though, check out IGN, and we have Fireteam Chat listed there, as well as uh, just everywhere, really. Be yeah. Before we move on with this, which weapon did you gravitate towards using in PvP? I mm, tried. That's a great question. I tried Pulse. I liked it. Not, yes. But I switched to Scout, and the rate of fire was just too low on it. It's yes. low. Like, it I'm so low. used to the minor, it's like, pop, pop. Yep. Pop. And I'm like, I can't do anything with I this. Know. You have to be more accurate with it, though, and I think that's purposeful game design. Yep. So with the pulse, however, you can still get those body shots in and get that DPS in, and you still get a decent amount of range there. It's going to be really interesting to see how play styles change up. The sidearm's still great. Yep. Sidearm is still going to be used a lot, did, I think. Did you use a submachine gun? I did use a submachine yeah. gun. I didn't do very well with it, though. you got to yeah. be it's, at the right distance. It melts. Right. Yeah. yeah, it um, melts when you're close, but, but you have to get inactive. in. And when everybody else is using rain stuff, I don't know if it's a good play. It's practically sidearm distance. Like yeah. It's a little yeah. farther, maybe, but it, um, it wrecks when you're at the right distance. But this yeah. is the beauty of their new sort of system, is that yeah. you can have you know your scout rifle, pulse rifle for range, and mm -hmm. then you can have your submachine gun at close, and you well, can just be like... one of those and then the submachine gun. Yeah, exactly. Just to be clear, yeah. They're right. So, But I think that's where, yeah, once you figure some of those things out, and you're gonna go like, yes, totally. this will change how the game is played. Because of the way Countdown was laid out, I ended up going, um, let's see, I did Scout and Hand Cannon, Yeah. because I wanted like really high impact, like at close, like take someone down, and mid distance, and then super far to have that Scout, um, and then I actually put Grenade Launcher on. Grenade for, Launchers are cool. Which is really neat, yeah, but yeah. when people were in the room, like, or, or just anywhere in the vicinity, like, popping it, yeah, it wasn't yeah. always instant kill, but it felt like the right loadout. Uh, but I did play some machine guns. I played Pulse. Uh, Pulse feels great. Uh, actually, autos feel quite good, too. Yeah. So it's, like, so early, you know? Yeah. Um, I, like, need again, there's, I need more time with it. I need more time with it. Yeah. There's just, yeah. like, stuff that, like, you were getting at, like, you'd try it. You'd think you'd kill someone, and you don't. I had yeah, other instances, hard. by the way, where I don't, I don't know if it was a burn or actually like some kind of lag or delay going on, but like I had shot and sent a nade out, but I swear that 
it was already all done and then it would show up on the, the map. So I, I think they're working a lot out. It's too early to say, yeah. but it feels good. Uh, Countdown was fun, man. I can't wait to just try a traditional mode though, like control oh, and yeah. see how yeah. that feels. I want to see how the old modes translate over. Yep. Uh, Fran, was there anything else you wanted to talk about today? I think we could go on and on, Destin. But, we want to uh, see raids. <laughs> Oh yeah, actually right, we yeah. should just talk, let's talk a little bit because I don't, you know, we, we scheduled this for a few hours. Yeah. Uh, we're going an hour and a half, but like mm -hmm. we're gonna be, we have a lot more to talk about, but I did want to talk about, um, well, raids we didn't get to see. Yeah. Uh, there's glimpses a lot of, questions of it. About, oh, sorry, a lot of questions in chat about the beta for, uh, oh. Brian was asking, we know it's the summer, that's all we know. That's mm -hmm. all we know is yeah. it's the summer so, right now, yeah. so. But uh, raids, we would really, really like to see them, but no, footage, no indication that we're going to anytime soon. Yeah. I think I mean, they keep those pretty close to the chest. Usually they'll do a teaser at best. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. we know traditionally like raids, they kind of want to wait and show it to you at launch. So uh, with any luck, IGN can get its hands on some footage before launch, just like a glimpse of it. That would be my hope is to twist their arms for, for just raids? A, a little bit. Yeah. I kind of don't want to spoil it for people though. I just mean, just a little bit. I want to see inside. Like a teaser trailer? Yeah. Didn't we do that for uh, IGN first for Destiny? They have never released footage. Oh, we've of never raids got early. it at all. Never. Oh yeah, no. you're right. So yeah. very unlikely. It's, I it's guess. very close to their chest, and yeah. like they want people to it's special like, people like you. When a raid comes out, you're like, I don't want to see anything. Yeah, that's true. Uh, essentially, they, they would be ruining that surprise <laughs> for people, and I don't. Just want to see I would, a little I bit. Yeah, it. you're right. I'm just. They thirsty. do teasers <laughs> sometimes, like they did for Wrath of the Machine. They yeah. showed like the cutscenes where like the characters enter and such. Yeah, they usually show that. It looked like they were showing maybe a little bit when they mentioned the raid. They might have. They might have. I'd have yeah. to watch the whole presentation yeah. again. They they time something with raids that looks like it could be. Yeah. Um, but there was that, but then it was like the idea of, which we're just not clear on, but there's like campaign, and there's strikes, and then there's adventures that pop up on the map, yeah. and then there's these things called lost sectors, and you know, like in my mind, I'm still like very old school Destiny, I think, where it's like, well, you're in a campaign, and then you have to go off to orbit, and then enter this strike, but it sounds like they're trying to get it closer to like, you know, this adventure thing pops up, that you have this adventure now, wherever you were in your campaign. On a map. Yeah, on a map, so Which where your cool. location is in the campaign or something, it's gonna pop up, and then yeah. maybe there's this lost sector to explore. And yeah. so I get thinking a little bit, like it's funny we were talking about that on Fireteam Chatter, like I wish it was like Zelda, where you could get distracted by, ooh, I see this thing. Uh, maybe it's you know just a marker that pops up in the middle of campaign or vice versa, but I don't know, really interested to see how that play, plays out. Yeah, just how all the mechanics it, work. Like when I go into a planet, I'm just gonna spend m all my time there and like I finish an encounter, right? Yeah. Within the planet, like I finish a public event, do I just go to the next thing? Do yeah, I just the, walk to and, it? And public event, was there any kind of, I don't sure if they mentioned that, the amount of people in a public event? Did I hear a Yeah, we don't there? know. We don't know. I, yeah. I, well, I don't, I don't I remember. I thought I yeah. heard a rumor or a number about a pretty yeah, big number. Yeah, I thought number. it was really big and I wasn't sure. Don't yeah. remember, yeah. gotta review the footage. Okay. You know, we haven't yeah. had time to sit down and there look at all just, the threads and yeah. everything. But it was just uh, people talking all day too as yeah. well. Oh, about, actually, did we touch on the PC? Yeah, uh, so actually delay? we have a question from Greenout17. He says, what about the PC release date? People are saying it's not the eighth did you ask the guys at Bungie we did mm -hmm. that full quote will be in the interview tomorrow but they made it sound an awful lot like it is not going to hit the eighth mm -hmm. and I was like September 1st yeah and they were like ha 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 yeah we yeah. asked them why and they expound <laughs> yeah. on that a little bit yeah so look but for it's that not tomorrow, guaranteed but is the point we don't know that it's going to launch yeah. day and date with the consoles and yeah. there's a lot to consider there you got bnet to consider Mm -hmm. And also, they went Bnet. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah. Bnet, not Steam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How does chat feel about that? Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> what do they type? Yeah. Justin, just tell yeah. me. Yeah. Let them know. Rawr. Uh, <laughs> I'm personally, I love Bnet as a service. Yeah. I love being able to play Hearthstone uh, on various platforms, and I like using it for all my games. I just have them there. It's comforting. Like I know the games are just gonna work. Yeah. You I know. And having Destiny there, it's an obvious partnership. Yeah. Activision owns them. They can align yeah. together and create this. This community and the tool sets there on Bnet. Yeah, you got your I, chat set up and everything. Having the support mm. of that team and you know um, Mike Morheim from Blizzard like yeah. came on as a special message. Right. They shot it in China and like that. You know, obviously he's a company man, but at the same time, like I think you know, knowing Blizzard, they're pretty excited yeah. uh, about certain games, and I think Destiny is the type of thing that they probably respect. And you know, not, for them to help potentially support. Um, just that process, feedback from you know one of the, like Overwatch is 
crazy, right? Yeah. So I'm also excited to just see like how Overwatch players get say notified mm -hmm. and what. Uh, yeah, I'll try that. You might have some really big crossover, which yeah. I think they're betting on as well. Yeah, but the built-in chat's going to be great for them. And like you yeah. have all your friends there, so it's like. Hey, World of Warcraft players, try out this yeah, new game we got. Overwatch players, you know. Yeah, or Overwatch Seems players. Like, like, well, I think they'll get a little nope. bit of both. You like you like raiding and WoW? Try out yeah. this new thing. And it's I think gonna they're going to get a huge PC player base. It's smart. Plus, James Target's head must have exploded when yeah. he heard BNet. <laughs> it's funny, I didn't even think about where it was going to end up because, again, I'm just not as... I don't know, I wasn't worried about where the PC version would end up, but yeah, like it seems like an obvious choice, and like, yeah, let's face it, they're not gonna pay Steam a percentage yeah. when they have a service that they can utilize and, and yeah. really build out however Are, they need. What's chat saying? Are they cool with it? They're wondering, uh, just to change their opinion, anybody ask about Zer? At all. We, I didn't no. ask about it. No, they sir. wouldn't have answered right. that no, anyway. Yeah. That's yeah. I, it was one of those questions asked. you knew that, yeah. like... And the speaker, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, it's like... You we know. got him up the speaker. Yeah, I'll we got wait. a little thing there. He accidentally yeah. swallowed a grenade launcher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it for Zer, everyone. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> we don't know what no. happened. They do there. mention uh, uh, the speaker, and they mention the Cryptarch in our full interview going live tomorrow. Yeah. Or probably late tonight. So it seems like they're out there somewhere. Yeah. Eris Morn as well. Where is she? Right? Yeah, the voice mm -hmm. actor, a uh, good yeah, friend, we were Morla. Good friend with Morla. She's been on the hanging camera. out. Awesome. She's a she fan of the game, so there's no guarantee she's in the. Come on, she's we definitely there in the future. We know she betrayed everybody, and that's why the tower's on <laughs> the uh, Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Theory. Yeah. That's my theory, yeah, definitely. Guys, I think we should wrap it up. We are running out of time. We've had like a 16 hour day, but we are incredibly excited. And uh, before we go, I do want to give some shout outs to yeah. uh, Dave Tool. Brian Malkowitz, who have been working tirelessly yeah. here to make sure that this is live. This came together like really on the wire As to make tell. all of this happen. <laughs> um, so thanks, and uh, thank you, CJ, for all the work that you did on the show. CJ yeah, was fun. there doing all of our shooting with the camera and all the direct feed, and Fran, of course, thank you for letting me come here and do my job. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I took a nap today. No, yeah. like every, yeah. it was a big day for us, and man. Yeah. I have so much that I still want to talk about and ask, but yeah, seriously, we've got so much more to do. What, five months uh, still or so. Oh ago. yeah, E3 is so, yeah. right around the corner. We're probably going to see yeah. some stuff there. And that's it. E3 is coming. So even to get another, like sometimes you just have to digest it for a little bit. I'm super excited to play. You know, whatever else they have at E3 coming in the next few weeks. Yeah, I think that's a good. Maybe that's the best place to wrap it up. Is like, what is the roadmap for when can we expect more info? E3 for sure. We're going to get more info. Mm -hmm. Probably the summer beta. Yeah. Right. Summer. Bungie we don't Day know when is July seventh. So. Yeah, we got Bungie Day, <laughs> and then September eighth, the game's out. It's going to be a ton of content yeah. leading up to that launch. There's like, hey, we got what? Destiny two. By the way, it's out in September. Yeah. Like, remember the Destiny one lead up? It was like two years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it wasn't a few months. They're going to be yeah. full force with this. And thing. here you go. I remember we were talking. Do you, did you think you'd see PVP or like I didn't. I yeah, actually yeah. was Everything's super here. excited to play PvP, so yeah. it was really cool to yeah. be there. Today. Yeah, I'm, I'm speculating that June 13th, I think it is, is Sony's conference, but oh, yeah. probably you're going to wait, wait to see more of the wrapper pulled off there, and then yeah. they'll do some demos or whatever. They could have some on Xbox, too. We don't know. That's a good point. That's Scorpio. Maybe it's yeah. at 60. I don't know. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to keep propagating that rumor. <laughs> Destin's like, they said no. I don't remember at this point. <laughs> I have to be honest. A uh, few more shout-outs definitely to everybody at Activision who helped make the interview happen. Genevieve, mm -hmm. Drew, Mark Knowsworthy, Luke for making the time to talk to us, and all the community members who were willing to be part of our video. We're going to have that full product out later. I am just trying to make Dave and Brian stay here as long as I possibly can <laughs> at this point. But no, uh, Holtzman, Miss 5000 what? Uh, do you remember everybody Dave's you gone. interviewed, CJ? Oh, um, man. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to leave You got Mav yeah, and Miss Team KK, yeah, right? Yeah, I think it's Bife and, and Lono. Uh, and did you get Dado in there? We saw yeah. Dado today. Did did Dado Stev for helping no. us out on a live Stab, show. And Dave thanks, is going to kill me, so I have to go. But thank you, <laughs> so everybody, so much. Uh, more content That's coming great. tomorrow. You guys rock. And for more on Destiny, you are already in the right place. IGN. We'll see you soon.